our dear brother and sister, uh, I am so happy to be here. I am so happy to uh, share the word of God with you. So let's see what we have to offer today. Uh, Bible University of the Universe. So this is our logo. And let's see what is it, what we uh, have to offer, what we have. Uh, now, Bible uh, University of the Universe presents love to learn. Love to learn, of course, you know, we love to learn something good, some good story, the real story. That's what we love to learn. And, and uh, now, under this love to learn, uh, today the title is If the Resurrection is Real, Would You Want It? This is part two. Uh, we have part one uh, last time. So today is part two continue from last time. Love to learn if the resurrection is real. Would you want it? Let's, uh, okay. Now, now we uh, we talking about our, our life and death. So we have one life and one death. Normally, if we die, that's all. And think about it, it's so precious, our life. Now, today, we want to offer you, uh, you have one life, two life. Today, we want to offer two life. Because when you, when you were born, then you, you have life. But when you die, you know, in Jesus, you will be resurrected and to have second life. And that second life is that I want to share with you uh, today. And before uh, we get into the scripture, so I just want to let you know that Jesus Uh, normally, Jesus do the preaching, do the healing, and he he was so uh, busy to do that. And because his uh, busy schedule, so he uh, had disciple that uh, those are close to him. But other than those disciple, he he did not have. Uh, many friends. He did not have much friends with others, except one family. This family, this family is the family in Bethany, and the family of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. So these three uh, sister and brother are, uh, were the close family, I mean close friend with Jesus. And Jesus, from time to time, Jesus will stop by to visit this family. So this time when Jesus stopped by to visit this family, and uh, it's a kind of bad news come to Jesus because uh, Martha and Mary right away uh, uh, learn that Jesus is in, in in town so right away invited Jesus but bring some uh, kind of sad news that Lazarus the brother of them uh, passed away and and come they 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 came up and t- tell tell Jesus but of course Jesus uh, sympathized with them Jesus also wept over here saying that Jesus wept uh, with them sorrow, you know, uh, express sorrow uh, to web. So now, Jesus uh, has power from God that Jesus can resurrect Lazarus even he died for four days, but Jesus can bring Lazarus to life again. So this is the real story. Uh, let's see the scripture. Uh, the scripture that Jesus uh, went over there by the tomb of Lazarus. 
in John chapter 11, 41. Then uh, they took away the stone from the place. So, of course, Jesus tell them to take away. You see, the tomb, the tomb in uh, the old day, they uh, is just like the cave. But then they put the, uh, the dead body in there, and so they put the stone to, uh, to, to cover the entrance of the cave. So Jesus ordered them, uh, told people to take the stone out where the dead was lay. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. So this is the time that Jesus prayed to the Father. And uh, we know that he keep uh, con continue contact with his Father all the time, especially that he need uh, some power uh, from the Father, uh, just like this is the, the important time that he want the power to, to bring the dead people uh, alive. Okay, let's see, let's see the next scripture. John 11, 42, 43, saying that, And I knew that thou uh, hearest me always. So I think when we pray, we will should have the same way that Jesus said, you know, uh, he trusts, he believed that God the Father will hear uh, him always. So we too, when we pray, that we uh, assume that God the Father will always hear our prayer too. But because of the people which stand by, I said it that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus has spoken, he cried with a loud voice. He said, Lazarus, come forth. So that loud voice with the power of God so call Lazarus, the dead people, that person, come forth, he said. So that power really worked. Let's see. Let's, let's see the next one. Uh, chapter 11, 44, it said, And he that was dead uh, came forth, bound hand and foot, uh, with uh, grave cloths, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Lose him and let him go. So this is uh, obviously that if the dead body can get up and walk out from the, from the tomb, so uh, he was resurrected. So Jesus brought the dead people, Lazarus, uh, alive. So now, I am asking that this story, is, is, is it a true story? Of course it is a true story. Because, for one thing, that we have the name that we can trace, you know, like Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. So we have all the history, where, uh, which town that they, they came from. So the, in, the, in the history, this is the real story. Now, if the story is real, now the, the resur uh, resurrected by Jesus is also real. Now, if that is real, it can be real with us too. Because Jesus said in, uh, in John eleven twenty five, 25, Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Now, he who believe in me, uh, although they die, and they will live again. So this is uh, the promise of Jesus. Whoever believe in him, that when he die, he, Jesus will bring him uh, to life again, to live again. So if that is the case, if that is the real story, the real thing can happen to everyone can happen to me and can happen to you. Now, now the question is, if this is real, would you want to be resurrected to live again and 
and to live etern- e- eternally, 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 so we will not die anymore. Would you want it? Thank you. <laughs>